So, some women like to play soccer, or football, or whatever you call it. They have their own professional leagues and everything. Apparently, some people on the internet didn't know this, and they're angry about the inclusion of women's teams in FIFA 16. I'm Alana, and welcome to Button Bash. We're not here to stand and watch. This is our game, too. The time has come. FIFA 16 will include 12 of the top women's international teams, including Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, England, France, Germany, Italy, Mexico, Spain, Sweden, and the USA. They'll be playable across multiple modes that haven't yet been totally confirmed, though we do know that women won't be able to play against men in order to keep things authentic. I do find that a little odd, since you can play a club against itself, like Man United vs. Man United, which isn't physically possible. But a lot of people on the internet also thought that they would be really, really funny and made jokes about this, like the idea that the stadium should actually be called the kitchen if they want to be realistic, or that women should have off periods because of period pain, or that it's unrealistic that in the trailer stadiums appear to be sold out. Can you imagine? If women said those kind of things about men, they would be furious. Now, instinctively, I want to be all, yeah, that's what you should have done a long time ago, EA, rather than patting them on the back for something so seemingly simple, but the inclusion did double the workload for some devs. The female players aren't just reskin males. They actually run on their own technology, with new body types, animations, and even hair physics. FIFA 16 producer Nick Shannon said, the most important thing for us when we wanted to add the women's international teams was that we wanted to do it right. We wanted to do it properly. For us to be able to do that, there were a lot of things that we actually had to change within our game. We wanted to make sure that the body types looked good, so we actually created new body types. We also wanted to make sure we could get our scanning technology. We sent that out on the road, so we've scanned many of the teams to make sure we make the faces look as authentic as possible. We've never been able to do hair simulation during gameplay as we've had problems maintaining 60 frames per second. We managed to be able to do that and maintain 60 as well. We wanted to do it right, we wanted to do it properly. This was the year, the year that we could do that. Apparently the hair was the hardest part, but EA said that the reason that they've chosen to do this now and not some other year long, long ago is that the technology is easier now. I don't know if I'd buy that, I feel like it's probably more likely that the technology is cheaper now rather than easier. I just don't want to buy into their marketing hype even though I'm also simultaneously happy that this is happening, so it's really conflicting. But apparently loads of people aren't happy about this. There are a particularly large amount of comments from people saying they won't play it or don't know how they feel about it. The idea of not knowing how to feel about a different gender being included in a game is so, so foreign to me, and I guess all other female gamers, because we have to tolerate that constantly. There are so many games that just have men. It must be really nice to be like, hmm, I'm uncertain about the inclusion of another gender in this, when we have to put up with it all the time. But I did find this one particular comment that's both appropriate enough for me to actually read here, and also highlights a pretty common view on this whole thing, from what I've found. MPL911 said, won't be buying this then. Ridiculous. We'll probably get PES whenever I next get a footy game. Don't buy them every year. And then when some brilliant human told him to go back to his cave, he went on about how women's football is consistently totally awful, even though he doesn't know anyone who's actually watched it, making it sound like he hasn't really either. And then it actually comes to one final point. He's actually not interested, because it's politically correct. Because women are being included, even though you don't even have to pay any attention to them. Screw that, right? Ugh. I'm Alana, and thanks for watching Button Bash.